Alrighty, y'all, we've all been there before, right? With starting a fitness journey, it can feel extremely foreign, extremely scary, extremely nerve-wracking to even just think about like walking into the gym for the first time by yourself, right? Like that is unknown territory to us and it can be really, really anxiety inducing um, and really, really difficult to even start a fitness journey when that's something that's really weighing heavy on us in our minds, right? So here is a five step beginner's guide to overcome newbie gym anxiety as somebody who is trying to start a fitness journey and start living a healthier lifestyle. The first thing that you'll want to do is ask yourself if the thoughts that you're having about this entire situation are true. Challenge that negative self-talk. What are you telling yourself? I'm sure it's along the lines of, oh, they're going to judge me. They're going to think I'm, I'm looking silly. They're going to think that I'm doing something wrong. They're going to make fun of me. All of those thoughts that you have in your head, challenge that. Challenge those thoughts. How would you feel if you saw somebody going to the gym for the first time or doing anything that you have experience in, like maybe it's your job or something, like would you sit there and in your head make fun of somebody who was literally just new at something and learning or maybe they're, let's say they're overweight and they're going to the gym and you see them working out. In my opinion, right? That's that's something that when I see I get really hyped I get really hyped up because I'm like I know what it's like, right? And for somebody to actually be taking action to gain their health back um when maybe it's something that they've been struggling with for a long time, like I get hyped. So what is it that you're telling yourself about what other people are going to think about you? Um, and challenge those beliefs. Ask yourself, are these things true? Are my beliefs true? Are my thoughts true? Um, is this something that is real? Like, is it actually going to end in disaster like I believe that it is? Challenge those thoughts, okay? Second thing is that remember that everyone was new once, okay? We all start somewhere and every single person that's on a health and fitness journey, they had a first time alone in the gym as well. They had a first day that they were really, really anxious about as well. They had moments of uncertainty and probably the exact same thoughts that you're having right now. So you're not alone in feeling that way at all. And I hope that gives you some peace of mind in the way that you aren't just solo, free flying in life with all of this anxiety about a situation all by yourself. Everyone that has gone to the gym, including myself, including people who have been working out for years and years and years, people who compete, people who bodybuild, people who who look like they're really healthy or whatever, they all had a first day in the gym and they all had some nerves around it. You are not alone in that feeling. Don't try to separate yourself from other people in that way. Like everyone starts somewhere. Everyone starts in the beginning. Everyone starts with never being in the gym to having to make that first step and get into the gym or whatever type of uh, exercise you decide to do, whether that's like a yoga studio. I'm using the gym as an example, but you could use that, all of this, even with going to like a yoga studio or taking a class or, um, you know, going to swim lessons or whatever, anything to where you're physically moving your body, anything where there's nerves around having that first step of moving in the direction of working on your health and fitness. The third thing is walk in with the mission. Go in there knowing that you're there for one thing. Screw everything else. You are there to work out. You are there to handle business and you are there to get things done and leave. You're not there to make friends and lollygag and do X, Y, and Z. Like you are focused on one objective. I'm going to go in. I'm going to get my workout in. I'm going to go hard. I'm going to push myself. I'm going to really exert this anxious energy that I have built up inside of me right now and I'm here to handle business get my workout done and leave I'm not here to impress anybody I'm not here to uh, contemplate different things like I have an objective and I have certain things that I need to get done at the end of the day how I feel about it ultimately doesn't matter and how other people feel doesn't matter either because we're all here for the literally the same exact reasons and that is to 
live a healthier lifestyle, push ourselves, become more resilient, become physically stronger, become healthier, and all of those things. So go in with that objective in mind. Go in with knowing who you are and how you want to show up and get the things done that you went there to do. Okay? The fourth thing is to get hyped up, whether that's you sitting in your car before you walk in and telling yourself affirmations and really getting yourself hype, whether that's putting on some gangster rap song that you love and singing along and just like vibing out to that. It could literally be anything. Get hyped up before you go in. Play music on your way there to to get you motivated, to get you you amped. Maybe play like some um, motivational speaker on your way or put your headphones in as you're walking in and and bump something on there that'll really get you pumped up. You know what I mean? Like find different ways to get yourself pumped up. Maybe you need to make a phone call to a friend that you know that every single time you talk to them, they're just always high energy and they always have like really positive things to say. Maybe you want to call them. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm really nervous about walking in the gym right now. I just wanted to call you because you always uh you always got some positive things to say you know what I mean and let them like uplift you as well like you can use the people around you but either way take advantage of the things that you can in order to uh get hyped up and um really get pumped get get pumped get hyped get ready to fucking rock and roll you know what I mean and number five this one for me personally is it really has been a really big one um with any time in my life where i'm anxious okay um and i've been like clinically diagnosed with general anxiety uh generalized anxiety disorder and depression and things like that which we won't go into too far right now but i have had um bouts of severe 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 anxiety to the point where i couldn't even really leave the house or walk into the grocery store like i would be in the parking lot and i would sit in the parking lot having a panic attack dry heaving right for like 20 30 minutes in the parking lot and then just start my car and drive back home because I was so anxious about just going into the grocery store. So that's kind of like the level of anxiety that I've been at in the past and I've been able to work through that. But like something that has really helped me with my anxiety with things is going to the bathroom. The bathroom has always been like a safe place for me and that could be anywhere like with work or gym or any the grocery store, you know, like going into a place and the first thing I do being going to the bathroom taking a moment take a deep breath you don't have to use the restroom i mean you can but take a moment wash your hands with cold water because cold tends to regulate our nervous system so that could be like washing your hands with cold water that could be drinking some ice water anything cold will help regulate your nervous system um other than that just washing your hands taking a deep breath kind of like readjusting and then giving yourself like a minute or two just to acclimate to being in the gym because like walking in and like seeing all the people that can really get us like activated so taking that moment to go to the bathroom where we're still present in the building but we're not like actively like sharing the energy with them yet can really really help us and give us those couple minutes to acclimate before we just hop right in and start working out and you know we have all these like feelings and um all of that. So I really hope that this helps you guys kind of give a little bit of of a different perspective as far as like going to the gym for the first time and overcoming that newbie gym anxiety. Um, I know it's scary and how you feel about going to the gym for the first time is absolutely valid. It's a very, very normal feeling. I don't want you to feel alone alone in that. Um, But there are ways to overcome it and the first time will be the hardest. The first time you walk in will be the hardest and the next time you walk in will be a little bit easier and then every time after that will be easier and easier until eventually one day you'll be able to walk into the, to your gym and it's just another day at the gym for you, you know? Um, I hope that this helps you guys and gives you some sort of direction um, and I know that the future version of you is so proud of you for finally taking that step and finally walking through those doors um, and working toward those things that you want in your life that are aligned with who you want to be that are so so scary um walking through that fear in uh despite like how you feel so i'm proud of you guys i hope this helps i hope all of you have an amazing day if you want to join a community of lgbt professionals that want to level up in their fitness health and mindset 
hit the link below. There's a link in there for a free group for the Pride Powerhouse community. Join the group. You'll be in the group of other people who are also on their personal development and fitness journey that want to lose weight, that want to level up, that want to learn about nutrition, that want to become the best versions of themselves. Hit the link. Join the group for free. I'll see you guys in there. And I hope uh, you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I love you. Bye.